sort of adapt to that. I'm, I mean, he's going to do everything he can, C-3PO, to, to keep him from doing that. Exactly. Um, Dark Wizzy's he's got his work cut out for him, but I mean, I know he's definitely up to the task. So it's going to be... It's going to be interesting. I know. Obviously, C-3PO. Uh, I don't know what stage they're starting on, but C-3PO is going to play with these platforms. Um, Dark yeah, Wizzy it looks is like gonna, they didn't use the button. Yeah, Dark Wizzy is going to do everything in his power. Okay, it's a Pokemon Stadium. The, just, the, the new Smashville. Pick. Yeah. The new Smashville, basically, in terms of neutral pick. May I offer the personal opinion of this caster? You absolutely may. Wonderful. Thank you. Um, I think Mario solidly wins this matchup. Do you think so? Solidly, yes. I think Snake loses to rushdown characters and characters with not just hard punishes, but characters that can keep you in disadvantage forever. The biggest blunder of Snake as a character is that his disadvantage state is no bueno. Once you have him cipher be, uh, beyond the ledge, if he ciphers above to get away from you and try to like drop a C4 below him to try and like maneuver his way back down to the stage, characters with good and quick aerials and good juggling tools like Mario with yeah. his up air and his down air and pretty much any of his aerials really can keep Snake in that disadvantage forever, eventually to the point of killing him with Mario's down air, which is just an immaculate killing tool in itself. And Mario, what Snake wants to do, it's like fighting Snake, it's like creating a puzzle. Is that a down B on the platform? Uh, Wizard losing track of the C4 a little bit is going to take the stock. Back air not going to do it yet. Snake is a big, big boy. Anyway, with, um, what was the C4? is right on his noggin. No shield coming out from Wizzy. I apologize. But anyway, not his up smash is, uh, the up smash is going to do it out of shield, evening out the game real quick. But... The thing with Snake is that, like, fighting Snake is like doing a jigsaw puzzle. You have to know, he put his grenade here, that's where his C4 is, you know, I got my eyes on it, he's gonna throw a grenade here, I know what's gonna be covered at a certain time. And when your character has as good of aerial mobility as Mario has, and as hard of a punish game as he has, it's pretty easy for Mario to be like a football player, just bob and weave, split the defense, in order for him to get in on Snake and get that hard punish, because once he actually is in, he's just combo food. But so far, Wizzy has not been able to really get any of that yeah, started. Been, if anything, been, he's down in stocks. You've been singing all the praises of Mario with this match. Match up, and we almost see it right there with the up air, up air into up B. That's a very, very solid kill option. And you know, going back to everything you were saying before, it's Mario's advantage. You know, you you talk about just sort of the jungle game, being able to keep Snake in the disadvantage. He also gets to work with Flood. He also gets to work with Cape. Um, but you know, the trade-off with that is that Mario has to constantly keep track of this C4, something that he has not done a good job of doing up to this point. Um, but I think he's starting to realize, hey, I'm losing to this. To this option that he's throwing out here, I need to be a little more careful, and we see it a little bit here. Um, but you know, C3PO c continuing to uh, take his time here, and I think he's just going to continue to play his game. Wizzy, maybe a little more rush down, but at the same time, you just need to be more cognizant. If anything, I feel like Wizzy right now is just being a little more reserved right now, but he doesn't have to be necessarily. And there you go, that's a dash attack on the shield. That's definitely going to be an up smash out of shield. You don't want to be. When you're a kill percent, you don't want to be pressing buttons on Mario's shield. That's pretty much just a given. But like you've been saying, I mean, Wizzy is just... He's getting hit by a lot of these traps and setups by C-3PO right now. And I feel like he doesn't really have to a lot right now. And like you said, you know, C-3PO is the one in the advantage right now. Exactly where Snake wants to be. He's the one who wants to set up the puzzle, put the grenades where he has to. Especially when he's in the lead. Narrowly avoiding that up tilt, the giant hitbox of that up tilt ever since Brawl, ladies and gentlemen. And it, it, I just feel like Wizzy's getting hit by a lot of things right now that he doesn't necessarily have to. Right now, he's like spacing himself in between the grenades. He's doing a good job, but he's just, he's not, he's not getting in on C-3PO. He's not doing a good, he's landed like one grab. Oh! oh! And as we were saying that, not being able to get in, able to get him pineappled under the stage, fall down forward air, a clutch comeback from Dark Wizzy. He has taken that first game 1-0, and C-3PO is kind of beside himself right Okay, now. I, I kind of want to stare at him. I kind of want to stare at Dark Wizzy until he notices me. He's not going to because he's in the middle of a match and it's incredibly <laughs> unprofessional for me to do this, but my jaws dropped at that forward air. He didn't have to even resort to that kind of situation. There were so many opportunities where he could have just like pressed some pretty safe buttons and crossed up Snake on a shield, which uh, Snake on a shield can't do too much unless he's facing you, to be honest. I mean, Snake has shield, he's all right, but definitely not the best. And Mario with his cross-ups, with his cross-up down air, cross-up air, even cross-up up air, are, just, are all immaculate aerials. And yeah. Dark Wizzy, I just didn't see him taking advantage too much of that in this game, but it didn't matter. He got a clutch spike at 143% below <laughs> Pokemon Stadium. Wizzy just trying to put on a little hype but, show for the stream right now, ladies and gentlemen. That's what you are talking about before. Again, in another disadvantaged position mm. against 3 3 3 This is what you were talking about before. Putting Snake in a position off stage where, where he's forced to cipher, he's forced to have Wizzy, you know, play more to his no, advantage. No, 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 again, no. again, another cipher. This is exactly what C3PO doesn't want to do. He's looking for a dunk. 
<laughs> it's a little whizzy feeling. Look, I know that's such a stereotypical thing for like a commentator to say is the forward smash by the ledge is going to take the stock, but I thought he was going to use the flood to bait it there to jump up to uh, do a forward air. Instead, Wizzy, with all the patience in the world, waiting for C-3PO to land in front of him out of his disadvantage just so he can get that insanely strong forward smash. Wizzy is living in the future. He's not thinking even, way farther ahead. And see, he's just throwing him off. He's not even comboing him. He's literally just throwing him off stage and trying to cheese him. Yeah, I mean, it's, and it's working. working. It's worked the first two stocks. We're going to see another dunk here? No. An attempt, though. He, he, you, can, you can sense he's going for it. Yeah, he's he going for it. So the way Wizzy Leo. thinks about this character is just on another level than pretty much almost any Mario in the world, of course. That's why he's considered one of, if not the best Mario right now. c 3 be looking for a prey right now, unfortunately. But, I mean, if you think about what he did well the first game, you know, he did a good job just playing with those platforms, playing with the C4, keeping Dark Wizzy guessing. Something he hasn't been able to do this second game. And Dark Wizzy in a very strong advantage this game. If he can continue to get C3PO off stage, and he does so there a with a forward stock. smash. And that was, that went from a, an even back and forth game to a just complete route by Dark Wizzy. And that's a little unfortunate, but just that's the way sort of momentum works, especially with, with, Dark Wizzy and his Mario. Once he gets on a little bit of a roll, we see Zenyu kind of do the same thing is once you get him going a little bit, it's just impossible to stop the train. Exactly. And unfortunately, C3PO had to uh, stand in front of that train. And that is why your job.